Hey, I'm Steve Morris. I'm going to show you how and what we do every time we have to go through a race with the world's fastest streetcar. And uh, we're going to go through valve lash right now. And so I'm going to start taking this thing apart and I'll show you exactly how you're supposed to do this. Now, a little thing to note here is I'll show you. When we're on drag week, the only thing that we have for a toolkit is right there. This is our valve lash toolkit. This little blue box is actually something that we've had since the beginning back in uh, uh, 2010, 2011 or so. This is our valve lash kit. And this little tray just made up for spark plugs and uh, to hold the valve lash kit is all we take to the racetrack to do any kind of valve lash work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing apart real quick and then I'm gonna show you the proper way of lashing your valves, of checking your lash, and why you're checking the lash on your valves. This is the proper method for how to adjust your valves. Now, in order to adjust the uh, exhaust valve, this intake valve needs to have been fully open and a quarter inch or so, it's not exact science there, about 200, 250, 300 thousandths, but almost all the way closed, but not all the way closed, just on its way closing, and then you adjust this exhaust valve right here. Now when you want to adjust the intake valve, you need to do it inverted. Now what we're doing here is we're actually putting it on the actual base circle on the back side of the lobe that we're trying to adjust by doing this. Do not put these uh, at top dead center where both rocker arms you could adjust at the same time. It's not the right way of doing it. Don't do it. So what we want to do is that valve had just closed. We adjust our exhaust. Now we're going to adjust our intake. And in order to adjust our intake, we want to have the exhaust valve about a quarter inch opening. So opening on the exhaust valve, adjust the intake. Closing on the intake valve, adjust the exhaust. That is the proper method and the proper placement to check your valve lash adjustment and or to set. And now I'm going to tell you a little known secret uh, that you need to not overthink. A lot of people overthink this uh, and this is just being truthful with you. So sometimes uh, if I just want to do a real quick valve lash adjust. Now I've granted I've been doing this for a really long time so I have a really good feel of what things feel like and what valve lash feels like. But I will quite literally take the valve covers off. I will roll it over, each one, I'll feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel the intake, feel the intake, feel the intake, feel the intake. I have just lashed this entire side of the motor and because I've, I have a good feel for it, I understand how much, what I'm looking for. I already know that everything is fine through here. A lot of times I wouldn't even bother lashing it or checking it. That I would do that much of a check and that's it. Valve covers back on. You might think that's hokey or whatever, but I'm just telling you that's what I do and that's what works. Now, what I'll actually do uh, during that first lash of the day, now that's if I'm checking for a problem. Uh, if I'm just checking to make sure there's not any fine problems in here, then we're gonna, I'll show you how to do that with actually using the feeler gauge. But, Always remember, what you are really trying to find is a problem, an issue. So I tell all of my customers, now this is a, the, my SMX engine, so this is, you know, in my opinion, has one of the best valve trains you're gonna find, period. Uh, proven out endurance, the whole deal. But uh, what I always tell people is, look, the only thing you're really checking for when you check valve lash, or you're just valve lash, people would say, is you're just looking for a problem. And quite honestly, if you have to adjust something more than a couple thousandths, and if you're just adjusting it in a couple thousandths, that's just because you're being anal about it and you want it to be perfect. 
which is fine. That's all cool. But if you're just if you have something and you go through here and I feel that thing and that thing's going chunk chunk chunk, I don't bother adjusting it. It's broke. There's something wrong. So I'm going to go into it. I'm going to figure out. Oh, this thing is not right. I will feel that real quick. Well, this thing's uh, it's either very tight, doesn't have any lash, or it's got a bunch of lash, and I can just feel that just by moving it. So I go in. I start. All right. Better check out the lifter. Check out the push rod. Check out the rocker on the cup. Uh, valve. Uh, valve tip, roller tip on the rocker arm. So always remember, people get really anal about this and think they got to lash the valves every time. We literally lash the valves on this once every 300 miles. So we will lash the, I will lash the valves up in the morning, just check it, make sure that after our 300 mile drive that everything's fine, set it up for full race mode, as in uh, lash, just make sure everything's right. We drive it to the track, we make our passes, I never check the valve lash after that. We make our three, another 300 mile drive, all on the same. Sleep for the night, if we get the chance to sleep. In the morning, I'll come out, I'll take the valve covers off and I'll do this exact same thing. And I'll just sit there and I'll just make sure that nothing's moving or changing. If I have a rocker arm that uh, uh, one time changes two thousandths, uh, I'll adjust that two thousandths. And then next time, the next day, if I need to adjust it another 2000s, then I start thinking mm, something is probably wearing. But uh, in all reality, you're only checking for a problem. You're not lashing valves every pass in between rounds. If you do, it's because your, your cam low profile and your valve train is just uh, not developed the best. Let's just leave it at that. But uh, you're just checking for a problem. All right, so I just found, just gone through and actually checking it with the feeler gauge to where the, the uh, valve position, the exhaust valve has just started to open. And now I'm checking this or intake load. This one's a little tight, still has lash. So since this thing is uh, cold like this, this thing, this particular engine only has five thousandths of lash uh, at this temperature. And that's just because it grows so much. So. If this thing's off just a couple thousandths, which it was, and it probably wasn't even off two thousandths, it's just adjusting it to make sure everything looks right, and then I'll kind of keep track of this valve and make sure it's not moving. But usually if it gets a little tight like that, that's not a big deal, or, or a little bit loose. They'll always move a little bit, uh, but in general, you're really uh, wasting your time if you're hunting for that perfect feel on every single one and that perfect setting on every single one if you want to do it that's fine that's up to you but i'm just telling you that it's not necessary now the other thing that we that I also do is when we're adjusting these i'm telling you that this thing is uh you know five thousandths cold uh, very rarely do i ever adjust valves uh in a hot engine uh definitely in a hot engine i just go through and do that quick check where I'm just touching them uh, because they're all over the place because it's very hard to maintain temperature. The valve closes, it touches the cylinder head, it starts cooling down or the valve or heating up actually. The valve's open and it's cooled down so everything, it just changes. Uh, you, can, you can roll this motor over, check it when it's hot. You can roll this motor over, check a valve lash, go over here, come back and check this again and it'll be off like a thousandths or something. So <clears throat> that's just common. That's why I only like to do them cold because it's cold, it's set, everything is, it should be all the same. It's much easier to always adjust the valves on an engine cold. So first thing in the morning, something like that. This side's all done, that side's all done. I just had two valves that were maybe like a thousandths tight and I just adjusted it just for the sake of showing you on the video of how you're actually gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is this thing's all done. I'm happy with it, everything's cool. I'm gonna put this thing all back together and then we'll go outside and start this thing up and uh, go through our normal pr procedures. So, if you like what you just saw right there, make sure you like and subscribe. Go check out uh, uh, Steve Morris Engines also. And uh, I'm Steve Morris, working on Tom Bailey stuff.